Hello, and welcome to our first segment of, oh no, second, second segment, segment. Second segment of Let's Talk Tech. Today's segments, three segments, are first we're going to be starting to talk about Linux. Our Linux operating system, Linux based products, second, so on. Second, we're going to be talking about Unreal Tournament 2004, the game, which is a, a, just an amazing game altogether. And thirdly, we'll be talking about uh, internet software, internet security systems like antivirus software. Antivirus, like, you and know. And we have a whole know. list for you. Yes. Okay, well, first we're talking about, like we said, um, Linux, Linux operating systems. Linux operating systems. I'm Thomas. Yeah, and I'm Alan. Yeah, we're your two hosts. Hello. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so basically, Linux is known as a f open source program. Open source, as in a free program. Most of, most of the time, open source is Your free. Camera. I know. Most of the time, open source is free, and it also it's, has. It's you changeable. Ch you can change it. Where you can actually like go in and actually write codes, write scripts, and change the settings, change the looks on it. If you know how to do it right, you can actually make it, it your it own. It has its own source code to the whole thing. You, it's available. With Windows, you can't go in and just change Windows operating system. No, With they, Linux, you can. You can go in and they give you the source code online. You just have to know how to do it. Yeah, it's open source. So you can go in and change everything, change themes, whatever you want. Just change the whole thing to make it customized. And, and that's, it, that's what Linux is. Yeah. I mean, there's programs out there like Ubuntu was made by somebody. Yeah. Somebody actually sat there, had the time, and sat there and made Ubuntu. Yeah. We have a video of lists of yeah we yeah just, we have a video we went so, online and took off a yeah. couple of names and we yeah have we a, took off a whole bunch of names yeah so now we have a, a yeah, little so, list to throw up there so like we'll be playing that in a little while uh, the Linux operating system some of them or at least is Kennel Ubuntu Fedora Dublin Free Spear Nonpix Mandrivia Pudus and Red Hat. That's, well, that's some of the operating that's, system. There's a lot more. Some. I had to actually there's, edit the list because it was so long. There's thousands. I mean, people yeah. just, they went on, they customized it, and then they threw it online for you to download. And that's just some of the well-known ones. Yeah, that's some of the more well-known ones. I've worked with Fedora, Mandrivia, Ubuntu. They're it's, all really great. Yeah. I mean, the point of Linux is to come with everything you need. It comes with, like, CD, DVD burning software, a ton of games, more games than... The Linux, uh, Windows does by far. Oh, yeah. And Well, all the software is included. With Windows, Windows has been trying to work on this. They've been trying to give you the software. Yeah, and with Linux, it, it comes Linux with something. Linux comes with everything. It it's comes called, with GNOME. There's a thing called GNOME, yes. It comes with GNOME, which is like the base of everything. It comes with GNOME gives them all the games, all the software, yeah. all for free. So you, the, the, Some of the software that comes included is a software called GIMP. It's a free open source pro, uh, art program. You can like download it. Photoshop. Yeah, you can download it for and Windows. And download it for free, and you can download it for Windows. Yeah, you, and it comes with uh, but it comes free. just about any any uh, program you've been to, like that. Mandrivia. Yeah, any open source program like that, it will come with the operating system. But yeah, for overall, it's a pretty good pro. All the programs are pretty good. The only thing you don't like is that you can't really download anything unless you download a thing called Wine. Yeah. You, and even when you download Wine, it doesn't work 100% correct. The thing about it is you can't download, you can't open uh, extract files that has exe ending. Which is like the files you know how when you download off the internet and you double click, it comes up with that whole. It's called a .exe file. Yeah, and it comes up with the whole thing called run and run it. Well, yep. you can't do that with Linux because it doesn't have the Windows privileges. It doesn't have exe. So if you download Wine, it kind of gives it the exe privileges. Some. And it's transferred. Yeah, yeah it kind of gives it its own exe. Yeah, it doesn't give but it. it doesn't it's only for it some all, files. Yeah. And uh, another thing I like about Linux is it comes with uh, Firefox. I mean, uh, yeah, it comes with Firefox most come with Firefox as the um, main browser, yeah. like automatically, you don't have to download well, it. Well, there's also, I, um, the, as the main browser, since Firefox is the main, is usually the main browser, what I don't like about that is that if you download Firefox at, as on Windows, you can go into options and change stuff, as if you go into and you get do it on Linux, you can't. Yeah, Firefox. So there's some, the, some just, just... The Linux, it has its own Firefox kind of thing. It's, it's kind of awkward. I don't the next know. thing is, is that... Yeah. The next thing about Linux is that it cannot be hacked. It's rare. It's very, very secure. I mean... Yeah, it's... If you it's sat there... If you sat there with a good scripts, good programs, yeah. 20 minutes, I mean... Yeah. yeah. Hours and hours and hours at a time, 
Maybe, but yeah. it has a. It's much more. It's it, much more complicated. You, much for more most secure. Linux programs, you have a regular password and a root password. Is like the admin password. Yeah, you have to enter a root password and an admin password, and for just by and anything. to go and to hack it, you have to go around. Mm -hmm. You can't just hack straight into yeah. it. Unlike and, Windows, and that's like yeah. four hundred passwords plus. Yeah. It's unlike Windows. It's Windows has a door that's about maybe the size of the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like okay, come, yeah. on, come, come on, on in, in come yeah. on in. That, that's why you notice when uh, Windows has their like security software, like Windows Defender and stuff like that. It's not. It will good. come up and it will say, it will, it will let everything, it will let all the dangerous stuff into your computer except when you're trying to do something in Windows. Windows does not allow its own programs to go through. I know, it doesn't let like programs you want to work. It's yeah, like, I, oh, watch out. Yeah, you're it's like, watch out, this. you're downloading this program. It's like, wait a minute, why didn't you let me know about that other pro program yeah, I was downloading that was super dangerous? Yes. Yeah, so, but yeah, Linux is basically, for the most part, very secure. And it's actually very easy to use. I mean, oh, yeah. well, it's easy After to use, you get used but to it. it's also very hard to use. I mean, it's good for easy people, but it's also great for, like, experts, you know, mm. the people who know what they're talking about, know, go online, connect their servers, and bam, you're... But the thing is, if you're Microsoft, matter. let's say you're Microsoft certified, knowing Microsoft, if you are, like, a pro at Windows, like, me and Thomas are really good with Windows, but yet we still don't know too much about um, uh, Linux programs because Linux and Windows are completely different programs. And there's so many Linux out there to learn everything about Linux. You'd have to sit there for like a year well, Linux, downloading all of Linux them. Linux is more, uh, they're, they're similar, very similar. All the programs are very similar. Some change. Yeah. Like some. Mandrivia has a start menu yeah. on the bottom, but and yet Ubuntu, Ubuntu has, has, it, has it on, it on top. top. Yeah. Um, you can go online and download, just look, search Ubuntu or you saw the list. Yeah, it's just all free software. Go on there and go on the internet, search and it if and you Google. Didn't, and if you didn't catch and download it, you yeah. know. If you didn't you catch the list, then you, it'll probably, it's actually, it should be available on our site. Um, we'll run it again. Yeah, we'll run it, we'll, we'll run it again at the end, but it'll be available on our site, tinyurl.com backslash, let's talk Well, tech. here's our, yeah, yeah there it is again. Ubuntu, Fedora, Deblin, Freespire, yeah. Noblix, Mandrivia. Yeah. Uh, Pardes and Red Hat. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it will be on our website. I should have a link to it. Yes. By like, uh, yeah, that's as soon as possible. Tiny URL backslash Let's Talk Tech. Yep. Um, yeah. So basically, we, I would, ra I actually dual booted Windows and Mandrivia in my computer for a while. Another, another big thing you have yeah. to learn if you're going to dual boot, which means put two operating systems in your computer, which is not that hard to do. But the big thing you have to do is make sure you put Linux in first because it's the dominant. Yeah. It's the dominant. It tries to take over your yeah, Windows. Yeah, it will, it will try and take over your computer. It will try to take over, over your Windows partition. Yeah, true. Put Linux in first and then put unless, in Linux. Unless. This is what I did. I had uh, two, two hard drives in my computer for those people that have two hard drives in their computer. Yeah, that, that's also <laughs> a good idea. Um, I, I had two separate, hard drives, yeah. Make sure one's Linux, one's yeah. Windows. That and absolutely I, helps. And I created and I, cre and I put Linux on one drive and I put windows on another drive so this way i didn't have to worry about separating them i could wipe it and because i wipe my computer all the time yeah so i you know i just didn't have to worry about that because i had one on one drive one on the other drive so that was pretty simple for me oh and another quick thing uh it downloads something that when you come up to your uh to boot it comes up with the two things what do you want to boot from your linux or your yeah. windows if you have the windows and yeah. and uh you boot to or whatever or yeah whatever linux program uh, you choose which one you want to boot from, but then if you want to erase that, it doesn't erase with your Linux. Mm -hmm. The best thing you should do is pop in a Windows 2000 disk. That's what I like doing, and delete the part. Just delete the whole partition, the yeah. secondary hard drive completely. That's that. If and you, what wipe. you do is you pop in the you pop in in order to frat and the, to wipe the drive, pop in the Windows 2000 and CD. delete and delete the secondary, the yeah. one with the your secondary drive wh or whatever you have the Ubuntu partition on. Delete it completely. Delete the unpartitioned. Yeah, just delete it all. It'll and go just in case, partition. you should back up your files when trying to wipe the drive because of the fact that you may wipe the other wrong drive. Yeah, you might wipe and the wrong drive. And if you don't have a recovery program, that's... Yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> don't try this. Don't try wiping your computer unless you know what you're doing. Have the professionals do it. Yeah, if you wipe your... If you could wipe the wrong one. It's yeah, very easy that, to that, do. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Um, you uh, want to go uh, to... Okay, we're going to go to a commercial, and we will be back in a sec. 